let's just sew whatever. Hello everybody, so in this video I'm basically just sewing on my new Juki from Sunny Sewing. Um, <clears throat> I purchased a DU1181N with a, a needle positioner. Um, initially I had just reached out to Sam that works there and I was like, can I, would you please make me a pink Juki? Um, so the reason I purchased the same machine I already have is because I've done tutorials on it for years and it felt disingenuous to get a new machine and knowing me, I probably won't <laughs> um, learn it, especially since it's more, more of a keepsake to me in a way. I will definitely still use this machine um, and I had no issues at all using it. Um, I really like the needle positioner, um, but again, it's just not what I've known for the last seven years, so keep that in mind. But So it's, I mean, just mostly ASMR and then a few thoughts that I have as I'm sewing. So enjoy or don't. Bye. Okay, so this will be the first time I am actually using this machine. And I just wound some bobbins. So I'm going to go ahead and work on all of the strap pieces for this machine, or for this bag, not this machine. <clears throat> Especially since, because if I have any tension issues, which brand new machines will likely have, this would be a good time for me to sort those out and adjust accordingly. Um, it's a little awkward because everything I normally use is on the left side of me now instead of the right side. So, just a little disorienting. The fabric that I'm using is from the August 15th release of vinyl that will be available at warmino.com, which is my website. I have my stitch length set to five. Um, to adjust the stitch length, you want to push down on the reverse lever and then adjust accordingly. Why am I so scared? <laughs> Um, so I did get the needle positioner on this machine, so if you want the needle up, you just hit the front of the pedal. So far the stitches look really good. I did use this machine at the workshop that we had in <clears throat> June. I think it was June. I don't remember what month it is right now. Um, so any tension issues that we had were kind of adjusted there in the store, which is nice. But you never know. Things could come up. Um, I think someone explained it best. Like, even cars straight off the lot might have small issues here and there. <clears throat> so it's always good to just take it slow and calm. I am making the apothecary tote, or the handbag size, from Sincerely Jen Pattern Co. If anyone is surprised. So close.
the speed set to winding a bobbin, so it's at 4,200. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and knock that down to probably 1,500 for myself. Um, but if you are just purchasing this machine for you, um, you may wanna stick to 500 or a little bit lower, but I don't feel like I'm having any issues controlling the speed. I can get used to that needle position. <laughs> oh my goodness. Is it time to just switch machines? I don't think that probably might have to. It's actually a really nice height too. So I did get the table with wheels. Um, I'm always reorganizing, moving stuff in the basement. So I like everything to have wheels. I really like it. Hardware's over here. <clears throat> Save your baggies. Send them back to us. Do need a little scrap behind here. strap is completed. Let's go ahead and finish the other handles.
I'm so used to my other machine. So I feel like with the needle positioner, I have to get used to it controlling when it stops versus me controlling it, you know. Not too bad though. If you are new to industrials, um, the needle positioner is actually really nice because it kind of mimics how some domestic machines are, if not all of them.
the foot pressure just a little bit um, and that's this one here I'm seeing a lot more thread on the larger screw here than I have on my jukey over there for both pieces so for this one you have to loosen this little nut here and then screw up on the top And those are just the pressure of the inner and outer feet. I think I need to move this over a little bit. Um, I did put felt on the back of the magnet so that it doesn't scratch up my machine but I still need that magnet I do have an actual tutorial on this bag, so if you're like, why aren't you teaching me anything, um, there is a tutorial. You can check that out. And now I'm just playing. I'm making sure I fold my threads, that's really important on an industrial machine. Oh my gosh, I wondered what felt so different. My um, little safety nut on my machine has broken off more times than I can count from sewing bags, like top stitching them, etc. So it's kind of funny to see and good to see. You want that safety nut there for your fingers, etc. Okay, so it doesn't look like it had any issues going over the height differences here, but sometimes machines can have trouble with that. Just keep that in mind and go slow.
definitely should have used Sofuse Plus instead of Sofuse for these pieces. I thought, well, maybe it'll be too much, but I think it would have been perfect. And that's my bad. help me better control my speed I've got my so let's say this is the pedal I've got my foot like right up here so I can very easily control that and then it's definitely far away from where you hit the front to lift your um, foot up the foot of your sewing machine So I'm basically using like the, my toes at the top of the pedal to just very slowly go and control those stitches. And I am at a 1600 speed, but again, I think it all depends on the pressure of your foot on the pedal as well. Thing is on wheels and I haven't locked the wheels so if I were to push or pull it will move. Thank you. 
I haven't sewn the front shut yet, so I can still add my nameplate.
I'm going to add my name plate and then probably end this video. Um, but I will say I've definitely been enjoying sewing with it so far. It doesn't feel too much different than my previous Juki, which I was really scared about. Um, I was messaging Jen from Sincerely Jen Pattern Co. And I was like, look, I finished this bag. And she's like, oh, did you use your pink machine? And I was like, well, I'm scared. <laughs> Just do it. So yeah, I may have to just say, you know what, screw it, and switch, move the machine. Because this one actually sits probably about uh, two inches taller, so I don't feel like I'm as hunched over since it's on those wheels. So it's kind of cool. Oh, I even have a working pen right there. 